Good morning. Paul here out in the National Park on what looks like a sliding rock here on Emu Mountain. And this morning uh, we've got an interesting a little meditation. Yesterday I heard a woman say that heaven is for losers. And boy, I was a bit shocked by that. But when I looked further into the scriptures, I was able to see what she was talking about. It's a message. Uh, heaven is for those who know what death is, for starters. It's a message of eternal life and glorious hope beyond the grave. God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. That's in James 4, 6. And God has given us amazing grace-filled paradoxes in his word. And you only have to go to the Beatitudes in Matthew 5 to find some of them. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. You could call them losers, but theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. And blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, they'll be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. And blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. So you can see where this lady was coming from. The losers are blessed. Uh, further in the scriptures, you can look at it further, um, Luke 9 verse 30, Jesus says the last shall be first and the first shall be last. So if you're last, you're a loser. But the last shall be first and the first shall be last, says Jesus. And in Revelation 2, to when the angel of the church, the angel is talking to the church in Smyrna, he says, these are the words of him who is the first and the last, who died and came to life again. I know your afflictions and your poverty, yet you are rich. So there's the losers, those who are afflicted and in poverty, yet you are rich. And in 1 Corinthians 1.27, But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. So there you go, the losers are being used to shame shame those who are successful so as we deny ourselves and surrender it all and pick up the cross and follow Jesus along the narrow way we experience his abundant and lavish love and a place in eternity in 1 Corinthians 2 9 we hear this but as it is written I has not seen nor ear heard neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. And there's a beautiful song by Gloria Gaither and there's a verse in that, it's about joy coming in the morning and she wrote this, to invest your seeds of trust in God in mountains you cannot move. You have risked your life on things you cannot prove, but to give the things you cannot keep for what you cannot lose now that's the way to find the joy God has for you. When you give the things you cannot keep for what you cannot lose, that's the way to find the joy God has for you. When you give your life for Jesus Christ, you surrender your life, he fills you with his spirit and his life and you can be Christ to the world. That's the joy God has for you. So, heaven is for losers, all right, but I'm glad to be a loser when you have that internal joy awaiting you when you cross over into the next life. Hallelujah. Praise God. You get into the Word and let the Word of God get into you. You have a great day. Bye now.